so my name is Jay Young Lim. I'm a PhD candidate at the Autonomous Systems Lab at ETH Zurich. Um, I'm here to present uh, a workshop paper that uh, won the um, Best Workshop Paper Award for Unstructured Environments. Um, what I presented, what the work I presented was um, autonomous active mapping in steep alpine terrain for fixed-wing UAVs. Uh, so the primary application was to enable um, autonomous information gathering for avalanche monitoring. And the main challenge is that if you try to operate fixed-wing UAVs in steep alpine terrain, because of the dynamic constraints of the vehicle, you might run into safety constraints. And also, you have to be able to quantify information so that you can make decisions to maximize your information during the mission. The workshop paper included results from the flight test that we did in Davos, Switzerland. I think it was a good demonstration of how you can actually uh, bring um, sort of these ideas uh, tested in the real world and see, uh, evaluate how it actually works in the real world. Uh, so I'm a fourth year, uh, it's, it's my fourth year as a PhD student right now. Um, so I primarily work with um, SLF, which is the Snow Research, it's Snow and Avalanche Research Institute of Switzerland. For them, it, it, they want to try to use this kind of autonomous vehicles to be able to improve the quality of the information they get in terms of avalanche activity, so they can better predict um, avalanche risk for, for the general public. So I think, I think it was an amazing event. It, uh, to, to gather all these people that are trying to um, make robots uh, work and try to solve problems in, in making robots actually useful. I think it's quite nice that you can actually talk to people in real life, in person, um, sort of have, have a human face on like, uh, sort of, you would only read papers. Uh, and it, it feels a bit remote, but then if you come in person, you, you would be able to discuss a bit more thoroughly on, on, on what their motivations are and, and what they actually think about the problem. So I, for me, it was quite insightful. Um, so for me, uh, I think open source in general, um, open source software has been a true enabler for researchers uh, in the robotics community. I think for me, it has helped me focus um, on the problems I actually care about, while for robotics you actually need to test the stuff in the field that may not necessarily be related to your research. So for me it was like a very nice tool to actually um, be able to go out in the field, test, test your ideas and how, how it actually works in reality. I think open source, in a way, you, you Share, share the effort, or you can, you can it's, it's a very nice way to collaborate with other people. So I would like to say maybe don't struggle alone, try to um, come to the community, and uh, for me, everybody was very helpful and willing to help, so um, don't be afraid to approach the uh, community. <laughs>